When Kayako was a young girl, her parents neglected her. She spent most of her time feeling depressed and lonely. She didn't have any friends, and the other children at school thought she was creepy and made fun of her. Kayako grew up and got married to a man named Teiko Siki. She felt like he was the only person in the world who cared about her. They lived a happy life together and she gave birth to a little boy named Toshio. One day, her husband was snooping around in their bedroom and found her diary. When he read it, he became convinced that she was cheating on him. When she came home from work and went upstairs, he was waiting for her, holding a knife. He attacked her, beating her and slashing her viciously right in front of their young son. Kayako tried to flee, but her husband chased her. He was almost out of his mind with rage. Covered with blood, she slipped and fell, breaking her ankle. Desperate to escape, she crawled down the stairs, but when she reached the front door, her husband grabbed her. He took her head in both his hands and twisted it around, breaking her neck. Kaiko was still alive, but she was paralyzed. The only sound she could make was a hoarse death rattle. Her husband dragged her upstairs, put her in a black plastic bag and left her in the attic to die. Then he got their son and drowned him in the bathtub and stuffed his body in a closet. Because she died in such pain, anguish and rage, Kaiko came back as a vengeful ghost. She appeared to her husband and strangled him with her hair. He was found lying in the street and the police thought he took his own life. Ever since then, Kayako's ghost haunts the house in which she died. They say that if you go into that house, you will hear Kayako's hoarse, choked death rattle. Then, you will see her crawling down the stairs, covered in blood and rolling her broken neck around with a sickening cracking sound.